Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video we're going to learn how we can change the text to column in Excel effortlessly. Most of the times the data is separated either by a space or it is in CSV format, meaning comma separated values. We're going to look at both of them and see how we can change the text to column. In order to separate any text into column, I first of all need to select that concerned data. In this case, I have selected A7 cell till A10. After that, from the tab, I'm going to go to the Data tab, followed by the Data Tools section, and the first option is Text to Column. As soon as I click on it, I'll have the dialog box open, which asks me to choose the file type that best describes my data. The delimit is basically the character, such as comma or tab, that separates each field or each type of data which is there. In this case, the delimit is the space, and as you can see, the preview of the selected data is coming together, the name first and the last names together. If I have to change it, I need to move to the next and then click on the option of space. When I click space, you're going to see that automatically there is a line drawn between my first and last name. So this is the preview of my data that will appear if I click on finish. As soon as I click finish, the job's done. You're going to see that the first and the last name are separated. Now let's look at how we can separate data which is separated using commas, CSV format, meaning comma separated values format. In order to do that, the same step of selecting the data needs to be followed, then we'll go to the data section, and then again, text to column. Here, we need to move on to the next place, but here, instead of space, we're going to select semicolon, not really, because we don't have a semicolon here, we have a comma. So we're going to go ahead and click on comma. Before this, when I selected semicolon, you can see the data is just the same. It did not change. If I even ticked mark the space, it's still going to separate the data, but not the commas. In this case, we do not want the commas to appear. That's why what we're going to do is we're going to unselect the space, unselect the semicolon, and only click on comma. This is the best way to separate the name the age, and the residence where that certain person is living. As soon as I click on finish, you're going to see that magically the data is going to be separated into name, age, and stay. In such cases, if the formatting goes out of order, you can anytime go to the home ribbon and select the data and fix the formatting. That was all how we can select the data and change it from text to columns. I hope that this video helped you out in order to change the text to the column. See you in the next lesson. Take care. Goodbye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.